What's up guys? Welcome back to the White Boy Lockdown Radio. Hey man, I'm just following up on that last video that I made. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys about how that clown, um, he'll comment, delete, whatever, but I'm going to pick up the story, man. Um, I know I've been talking about a lot about certain organizations and stuff. Um, you know, I'm not going to mention these two clowns, but uh, I just want to let you guys know kind of how it is, man, as a Neutron, you know, bumping gang members. Um, I'm going to tell you a story that happened. I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me. It's kind of a crazy story. Um, they could have went either way. And when I say that is, uh, you know, in Florida, man, there, there's a lot of gangs, man. Uh, eventually, like, like I said, I'm going to break them down. I'm going to try to break them down to you guys, uh, each and every one. But, you know, it can go either way. What I mean by that is, you know, for the most part, man, as long as you have respect, as long as you've gotten that grid a couple times and, and, and you've proved yourself, you're going to have some type of respect, you know, on the pound. Um, you know, Neutron or whatever. You know, when it comes to fighting a gang member, the best thing to go... The best way to go about it is, you know, talking to the head. You know, keep in mind, if, if you had communication with this person, you know, in this the story that I'm about to tell you, I did a lot of business with the head. You know, I, I mentioned this guy in another video that I did called the TV Room. TV Room, I talked about when there was the, the DVDs went through with the Muslims. The guy, Big Red, he ended up doing, re-offended and doing 15 years. That guy right there, man, uh, you know, I used to do a lot of business with, even though, you know, I'm not on anything that they have going on, but there was just that mutual respect, man, you know what I mean? And, uh, so to break it down, to break down what, I, what, I, what I'm saying is, there was a time, um, when I was in the dorm, it was, it was, uh, it was, you know, going back to that video, uh, the TV room, it was, uh, me, uh, JD, um, Big Red, and I, I ended up be, uh, befriending a dude named Kyle. Kyle uh, was like a rich boy from Pensacola or might have might have been Tallahassee. I, I don't remember. Um, I, I befriended him. He was all right at the time. I wasn't getting. Uh, I was asking my mom for money. Um, and, the, and, and the chick that I was with, uh, she just, she fell victim to the streets. So, you know, I got it off the land, man. And Kyle, he, his mom was, she, she, she had a lot of money. She, she, she only, she was in real estate. She would only deal with, uh, six figure homes. And, uh, Kyle, he, he was a cool dude, man. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, once I saw his true colors, it really pissed me off because I stuck up with this guy multiple times, man multiple times and I have I have other videos pertaining to, to this this time uh, and where I'm at in my story but I wanted to touch on um, this gang thing right here because I've been talking a lot about it people are new to the channel people are saying you know uh, people just take the wrong impression man you know there's real gang members you know um, and I, I just want to show people being a neutron how you can push through that so you know, I befriend, I befriend this guy, Kyle. Um, his mom, you know, she would send him money for anything. And when he got the money, you know, he would get uh, any, anything he wanted. He, he's had cell phones. And at the time of this incident, man, he had a lot of, a lot of Tucci. And he would give it to solid white boys. And, you know, me and Kyle, at this time, we became, you know, pretty, you know, we, we, we became... We became cool, you know, he, he, he was somebody cool to hang out with, um, you know, and, you know, I was selling a lot of Tucci at the time, he was giving me sacks, um, and there was a, a dude named Head, Head was a, Head was a brother of Big Red, he was a DVD, okay, it's like a hometown gang, you know what I mean, um, and he was trying to like plot he, he was real resentful. He was real. He, he was hating on Kyle because he, he, he knew Kyle was getting ounces and ounces and ounces. And, and of course, he's just dishing it out to 
solid people. And, you know, I was coming up on it. It, it was a good hustle. You know, I made a lot of money. Um, you know, meat and potatoes. Head in, like, the fact that, that that we were making money in the dorm. And he was trying to, like, put down on the white boys. Okay, I, I overheard him say that he was going to, you know, yeah, white boys can't eat in here. I'm, I'm taking what they got, this, this, and that. So as soon as I heard that, I called him out. We had our words, we had our words. And he calls me something that, he what he called me was one of the most disrespectful things you could say to somebody. He said, uh, you know, he called me a puss ass cracker because his, 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 now, mind you, his nickname was Head, but his head was real big because he had a lot of brothers in there. So he, he was plotting on, you know, running down on Kyle, running down on a couple people, but of course I stuck up for everybody. All right, um, you know, he called me Pussy Cracker, and immediately, man, I wanted to bash his head in. But, you know, at the time, it's Kyle. He's kind of soft. It's my buddy JD. He's going to go with me 100%. But there, there's probably like 9 or 10 DVDs in the dorm. Um, you know, so I stepped, I stepped to Big Red the head, man. And I'm like, hey, man, listen, dude. He just disrespected me to the fullest. To the fullest. And Big Red's looking at me. He's like... Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, man. You know, I, I want the head up. He was like, Matt, look, man, go in there, beat them, but don't hurt them. I'm like, well, what? He's like, beat them, but don't hurt them. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? You know, he was telling me to go in there, shoot them a head up, but I can't grab them, I can't slam them. You know, get them down on the ground. I can't, I, I can't mount on top of them and bash them with right hands. You know, he didn't want me to hurt him because at the end of the day, that, that was his brother. And, you know, he also said that when I came to him and said, hey, I want to fight his brother, he's like, man, he's been stealing cigarettes from me. I know he has. He ain't been honest about it. So he kind of wanted me to go test his brother. But at the same time, this is where it, it can go right for you or wrong for you. You know, he gave me the green light to go fight his brother, but I couldn't fight him like I would fight anybody else. Anybody else I get it into, I'm gonna try to hurt you. You know, he gave me the green light to fight, no one's gonna jump in, but I, I, I you know, I, I couldn't do what I wanted to do. It was a very difficult fight, man. You know, it, it could also went the other way. He could have been like, yeah, man, you, you can go fight him, you can go fight him. He could have given me a fake green light, and then I get I get in the grid, man. It, you know, it, it's gonna be all jumping on me. But he gave me the green light, man. I, I, I was happy at the at, at the minute I was happy, but I was kind of like skull fucking because I'm like, dude, how the hell do I halfway whoop his that this, whoop this dude's ass? It was the craziest shit, man. Um, you know, and, a, and this can happen a lot a, when you're politics with a lot of gangs. This, this is gonna happen, you know, um, especially if you're bigger than somebody. They they're gonna tell you right off the bat, you can't grab them, straight hands, and and you and if they give you the green light to do that, you better not grab somebody because they'll give you the green light they want to see where your hands are at versus their brother and the second that you could try to grab somebody or scoop them they're going to come in so you have to respect the green light so i tell him head run it man head run it get there you know the whole time he's like looking at me talking to red and he can't he can't believe that i got the green light to get him so now i want to hurt him so bad but i can't so this is, this, is, this is how it goes, man. I'm trying to explain these politics. So I put, I put my relax on. We hit the wall. Um, he throws up some weird shit. His set is like something like this. And he comes at me just like kind of grandma, but he's kind of... It's weird. He don't do shit. I step back. I ping him with like a three-piece. So I'm just like looking. You can see it come from a mile away. I'm leaning back. Bump, bump, bump. I hit him with a three-piece. He falls back. I'm like, man, tighten up, man. You know, and I, a lot of things are going through my mind because I can't hurt the dude. I, I can only, you know, use hands. So he comes at me again with some crazy ass Russian, you know, he's rushing in like this. You know, I bob one, I hit him, and he tries to scoop me, man. And when he scoops me, he, he grabs me, you know, almost around my, uh, my the back of my knees, and he lifts up, and I had a bunk... Uh, a single bunk and an open day bay dorm. It, it was right behind me. And when he did it, I kind of fell over the bunk. But it, it was no problem. I, I locked him like this. 
I grabbed his neck, I pulled it down, I pushed his head up, and I'm banging him. I push him off me. He flies back. I, I mount, I, I get back on the ground, get back on my feet. I start fighting forward, and I'm banging him. Bing, 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 bing. And then I hear the DVDs. They're like, man, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. That was my cue to, like, just fall back. They know that I got it. Uh, craziest thing, man, that night, that same night, Big Red, he comes over, he's like, man, you did that, you did that, you did that. And I'm like, bro, you know, at, th at this point, I'm clowning with him because I was always all right with Big Red. I'm like, dude, how the fuck are you going to tell me, you know, I got the green light, but don't hurt him. And he just started laughing. He was like, man, that's my brother, that's my brother, but you did that, you did that, Big Matt. So that's, that situation ended up working, man, but it, it's very hard. Yeah, like I said, it can go either way. You know what I mean? You, you have to have some type of mutual respect. And, and not only respect, if you don't have respect, you have to at least show somebody that you're going to get in that grid, you know, that, that you're not a sucker-ass white boy. And, and you just have to, you know, you can do it. You, 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 you can speak to the head to see, to see if you can get a head up. You know, there's no telling how it's going to go. And I was told don't hurt them, okay? You know, that was just that one incident. I'm going to get into a crazy blood blood story. I want to tell you guys, just like I showed you guys how to make the Fifi, I want to show you guys how to make a lock in a sock. I'll tell you the first time I got fired up with a lock in a sock, but I got, I got a blood story. I got a lot of stuff going on, man. But, you know, it, it can go either way, man, fighting gang members, man. It, it's, about it's about communication, man. And on this channel, man, I, I don't want to see anybody that's watching this, anybody that has kids, they might get incarcerated. I don't want to see them join. Think it's cool about a gang or nothing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show people how to stay out. If you have to go down that road, how you can do it by yourself. You know. Um, with that being said, I, I have a little interview this weekend, a little Florida Channel, and I got. I actually got to get a hold of him now. But I just want to drop a little bit of a story, guys. Let me know. Drop some comments. Hit the like button. Um, and uh. I have a buddy coming up this weekend, man. He's going to help you edit some videos. So we'll pick off from here on the uh, on the next one. I'm going to try to drop a uh, weekend review where I talk about the books, TV shows, movies, all type of stuff that relates to the channel. You know, it's the White Boy Lockdown channel, man. It's BigMattFitnessMan at Mail.com. You guys stay safe and stay out.